What's up my friends, welcome back! If you are into electronics, I bet that you use this kind of drill prototyping PCBs for your projects. Because I do. A lot. And these are just some of my PCBs. I have a lot more. You see, I always try to test my projects on this breadboard. And when everything works perfect, I make it permanent with a drill prototyping PCB like this one. But there is a better way and also very cheap. GLC PCB is a professional PCB manufacturer from China and is also the sponsor of this video. I've used their services for a long time now and in this video I will show you how to order high quality PCBs like this one for only $2. And it's more, $2 for 10 PCBs, so only 20 cents per board. Isn't that great? GLC PCB can make 2 layers, 4 layers and even 6 layer high quality PCBs. You can also order the stencil if you have a lot of SND components, but that is for another video. So let's see how to prepare the Gerber files, order the board from GLC PCB, unbox the finished product and give a small inspection of the quality of these PCBs. So let's get started! What's up my friends, welcome back! Before we go to GLC PCB and order the board, let's make a quick intro of how and what we need to prepare. So first thing first, you'll need a project. In my case, I'm designing a new radio controller board for my brushed Arduino drone kit. So, after I made all the tests, I've created my schematic. So the first step is to create your schematic. To design my PCBs, I use EasyEDA platform, but you could use any other. All we need are the Gerber's files, which any PCB design software should be able to generate. I place all the components. Create the schematic and then I pass to PCB. Now I place each component where I want and route all the tracks. I don't recommend you using the auto route. It is better done by hand. This is not a PCB tutorial, but have in mind. Use sticker tracks for power nets. Try to always use 45 degrees corners. Add all the silk layers that the board needs. Double check the connections. Double run the design rule check and don't forget to copper fill the board. So I have my PCB and I'm sure that it has no errors. I click the generate Gerber's button in order to create my Gerber's files. You could place your order directly from here, but if your design is made in a different software I'll show you what you have to do. Click the generate Gerber files button and save the zip file. In this case, the software automatically created a zip file with all the layers. I open that zip file and as you can see I have the board outline, bottom and top copper layer, silk layer, drill layer for all the holes and so on. So, if you use a different software, make sure you export all the layers that you want and then select them and create a zip file with all of them. Now, let's go to the jlcpcb.com. Here on the main page you can select the type of service. In my case I want to order 2 layers PCB and take advantage of the $2 offer. Click quote now and let's upload the Gerber file that we just created. Now have in mind that the $2 offer is just for boards up to 100 by 100 mm and also 2 layers board. Add your Gerber file. Here select the .zip file that you have just created. Once uploaded, as you can see, it detects the board size automatically. Now click View Gerber and make a quick inspection. Change between each layer and make sure they are OK. So if everything is OK, close this page and go back to the order page. Select the PCB quantity. I will select 10 in order to take advantage of the $2 offer. Remember, for more PCB the price will go up a bit. Now select the layer thickness, color of the board and all the desired settings. If you'll make a lot of PCBs in order to solder fast and you want the solder paste stencil as well, just mark this box here and for a few more dollars you will have that as well. I won't order that now, so I'll leave this box unmarked. That's it, now save to cart, add your address and order the PCBs. Have in mind that currently GLC PCB offers free shipping for your first order. So I recommend you to order your PCB now. I mean it's only $2, that's less than a cold beer. 
Anyway, so I live in Spain, so after only 5 days I receive this package. That's quite fast. Let's make a quick unbox. Inside of the plastic bag I have a cardboard with the GLC PCB logo, so I am quite excited. Inside I have my 10 PCBs and also a small gift, some LEDs and also a coupon. The boards are secured in place with some air bubble wrap and also void suction. There you have it, 10 amazing good looking and professional made PCBs. Let's take a closer look. The 0.2mm tracks are perfect, I have nothing to say. We also have these very small vias. Now using my multimeter I test all the connections. The pads are also perfect and solder sticks to them very well. The silk layer turned out really good. I had some doubts for these small letters here, but they are quite ok. As you can see I also have some big holes because I will later design a 3D printed case for this PCB. These are 3mm holes for M3 screws. I've also added my logo as a PNG photo and that turned out great as well. Now I solder everything in place with the schematic in front of me. Each component has a silk layer name so I had no problems with that. Just follow the schematic. All of the SMD capacitor and resistors are 0805 size, but those are very easy to solder with this PCB since solder will only stick on the pads, it won't stick on the green layer of the board. Once everything is soldered I burn the bootloader to the Atmega chip and using the FTDI module I upload an example code. Now I connect power to this PCB and there you have it, the board works. I can control the brightness of the LED with the joystick, this is just an example. So I'm very happy with the results. So guys, if you have your own project and you want to make it more professional, I really recommend you GLC PCB services, which are now very cheap. I hope that you liked this video and also that you understood how to prepare and order your boards and also make a first impression of the quality of this final product. Thank you guys and thanks to the sponsor of this video for helping my projects. By the way, if you like my videos and my tutorials help you, I also have a Patreon campaign, so check that out, link is down below. Thanks to all my patrons, and if you are a patron of mine, you will be able to see my videos a few hours before YouTube, also see my schematics, ask me questions and probably some future giveaways. Check my webpage for more tutorials. Use the comment section below or my Q&A page if you have any question, until next time, thanks again and see you later guys.